20. Today is day 10 of Vlogmas. And this morning I made cinnamon rolls. We had potatoes and eggs for breakfast. Um, I edited two whole videos and um, I've been working on card orders. I also, there's this TikTok that I saw of making homemade ginger ale, which if this turns out good, I'll link the TikTok down below. But I boiled my ginger. So I'm gonna strain that out and I think I have to mix like honey and lemon and then the carbonated water with it. Alvin is building the cube storage upstairs for Alice's room and I got a notification that FedEx delivered the bassinet that I bought um, on Black Friday. So that's super exciting because I was like super pumped to finally get this and see what it's gonna look like. It should be the bassinet and the changing table. So we'll have to see. We have the bassinet portion. I think these might be covers, changing basket liner to go along with it. Super nice. The bassinet also came with um, a cotton bassinet liner and waterproof sheet. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, so adorable. So cute. With the San Pellegrino. All right, let's try this. I don't know if I added enough sweetener. It's refreshing, but I don't really taste ginger. Uh, you wanna try some? Maple syrup, but it doesn't really taste like ginger. Tastes like lemonade. Oh, oh, yeah. Da, 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 oh. I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh, oh La, da, 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 oh, oh, oh La, da, 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 oh, oh, oh La, da, da, da Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home. Right, good morning. Today's the next day. I'm just putting Saturday and Sunday together because I don't think I filmed much yesterday because I was really tired. But we also didn't open our Advents yesterday. Graham actually hasn't opened his in a few days. He's like, you're right. All right, Alan's gonna open his first. He has two, which would be 10 and 11. Did you do nine also? Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, I'm drinking um, just an Altijo pod. I didn't open my Nespresso calendar yet, but the purple Altijo pod I got a few days ago just with milk. Nice. Yeah. Chapstick. Stick chap. Yeah. It's like holiday ish flavors. Yeah. Yay, this will kill you. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like a ball, so we were like, oh, of course he's gonna hate that. He is not gonna care. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> now that's a good way. 
Yeah, so I think he does still have treats in eight, right? No, we opened eight. Yeah. And nine. Oh, okay, you did nine, yeah. Mm. Now, I think eight might still have treats in it. It might, but it's probably the same as these treats. Yeah. Look, Ram, another shaped tree that's treat that's like a brown treat. <laughs> Oh, yummy. Stay. Oh. I also didn't open the jelly advent yesterday or today. But I think I did do number nine. Yeah, I did. So ten. And you, you still haven't tried some of the jellies. Maybe that's what we should have for breakfast is some toast and jelly. Apple caramel cinnamon spread. I think it is just honey, but wow. Yeah, honey. Oh, oh, this is good. This is one that I wanted to try, which is why I bought this. This is their new, their new hazelnut flavor. Not the old. That's a, yeah, not the old one. That is a... Beautiful pod, actually. That's like one of the prettiest pods I feel like I've seen. But that's their new hazelnut flavor because their old hazelnut flavor, we actually hate. It's disgusting. And I love hazelnut stuff. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that new one is better. So we'll have to try that together one day, I guess. And then, oh, this is Alvin's classic vanilla custard. Classic. All right, we're taking Graham to go see Santa. <laughs> Why are you talking to her? She's like, there's my person. There's my person. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is adorable. <laughs> Calm yourself, buddy. You ready, Michaela? Yeah. <laughs> buddy. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Graham. Give him kisses. Give him kisses. Buddy. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Right. Oh my gosh. He did good at the very beginning, yeah. Yeah, he was so cute in the beginning. Yay. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> He's like, okay, let's. So, we got back from taking Graham to go see Santa, and I am actually going to be making the pizza dough for tonight because I'm making this butternut squash and apple pizza and it has prosciutto on it. And I think that the dough has to rise for like an hour or two. I also did reading sprints earlier. I feel like I haven't filmed much over the weekend because Alvin and I have just been like spending time together on the couch and stuff. So there's not very much content really, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you guys how I'm making this pizza and this dough, and hopefully it's good. I haven't had this before, but it sounds amazing. All right, so it looks like in a bowl, we are going to stir together flour, yeast, salt, and then we add a beer and olive oil, and we stir that up, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it sit at room temperature until doubled, one to two hours. I always turn on the light in my oven because my house is really cold because the ceiling's being so tall, but, that creates like a warm environment without the oven being on. So I'm going to mix this stuff together and then put it in there to rise. Three cups of flour. Two teaspoons of yeast. Two teaspoons of salt. Let's stir that up. Alvin has these like leftover Coronas that he kind of got tired of this past summer. So I just use these. And a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> All right, this is gonna go in here with the light on for one to two hours. Our pizza dough has risen and I'm going to roll it out. Well, two pizzas, so I'm gonna divide it in half and then roll it out.
All right, those look great. I preheated the oven to 450 and then I'm going to cut up, I think I have to thinly slice apple, butternut squash, and then I think sage and apple butter and prosciutto and cheese go on it. So it's gonna be delicious. I got this apple butter from Walmart and it looks like this is kind of like the sauce. So she said to spread it around first. Then we're gonna add our apple slices. Also gonna add a little bit of red onion, even though I think she called for shallots, but I didn't have any of those. All right, then we're adding cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese on here. And she said to use a vegetable peeler to put butternut squash on here. And then we're going to put prosciutto. And then lastly, some sage. They look amazing. And the oven's ready, so I'm going to throw them in. I think they're in, it says 10 to 15 minutes. And then it says we can drizzle them with honey. Okay, I just pulled it out and we're gonna put fresh cracked pepper and red pepper flakes on it. And then I might, I don't know if I'm gonna drizzle honey on it or we can just put honey on each slice like for ourselves. So incredibly beautiful and it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna slice through it. Wow, that looks so delicious. There you wow. go. Yep. Hello, welcome to day, what is it, 12? Wow, yeah, day 12. So over the weekend, I actually just consolidated my vlogs into one vlog and I'm out of breath because I just walked up the stairs because with um, Alvin being home it's definitely more like chill we relax on the sofa together so I don't feel like I had a whole bunch of content he is home today also sick um, and I've been working on TBR cards these are all the ones that I did so far this morning because it's 1:10. woke up took a shower washed my hair I had oatmeal that I made for both me and Alvin I worked on TBR cards I watched the video premiere and I'm finishing up these orders so I can get them in the mail and then I'm probably gonna make lunch I think we're just gonna have like turkey and cheese sandwiches or something and tonight for dinner I think I'm making a fish curry with rice, which is gonna be really, probably really good and comforting for Alvin with his cold. For the rest of my plans for today, I do need to work on more cards, but also I think Alvin's gonna come up and use his desk to work on some work as well. But I decided that I am getting rid of and selling the favorite books that I acquired for my favorite shelf. And there's a few reasons for that. I know that some of you are probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, like how could you do that? But it's because I have definitely ran out of space on that shelf. So even the last like few books that I've had that were favorites, I couldn't even fit on the shelf anymore because it's just overfilled. I also use it for like my TBR books because I only have that one shelf. This one is used for my little free library. So these are all the books that I, I put um, in like genres. So that way I can always come up here and refill my library with these ones. So I don't really have anywhere else to put extra books. Plus, in my mind, now that I'm going to be having a baby, I would much rather have less books on my shelf, just my like TBR books on the top and on the bottom. That way there's space for Alice's toys and stuff for the future because there's not really a whole bunch of space in the living room for like toys to be in. So I feel like getting rid of the books that I've already read, like if I ever wanted to reread them, which I'm not a big rereader, I could always get them from the library and I have been really listening to audiobooks so much that I don't even really use the physical copies anymore or I've been using my library so much. Well, I guess when I say audiobooks, I am using Libby. I don't even buy the audiobooks. So I just really love saving money borrowing the books. Um, and so I'm just going to get rid of all of the favorites that I kept um, because right now they're just sitting there 
kind of doing nothing for us except taking up space. So I'm going to be going through those books today and listing them all on Pango. Um, if you didn't know, I have a bookstore on Pango and usually when I'm done reading books from my TBR that I own, I do usually list them on Pango because I am all about decluttering, minimalism, and all that stuff. So I am excited to do that today. Um, I think I also need to go and look at my little free library and update it um, because it's been what like 12 days since I put the Christmas reads in and I do have like four other Christmas books that I could rotate into there so I'll probably just walk down I mean it's not anywhere crazy I'll just walk down and um I never put the light in it as well that I got so I should probably stick that light in um and then fill it with more Christmas reads other than that I don't think I have too much else going on today. I do want to um, clean the house. I'll probably do that tomorrow because I really wanted to focus on TBR cards today. I've just been trying to keep up with all of my orders and stuff and unfortunately that's why I feel like some of the vlogs are a little short at times because it does take me hours to make the cards depending upon how many orders I'm trying to do and you guys definitely don't want to just see me doing that. Oh yeah, speaking of, I have been listening to, while I was doing these cards, I was listening to more of The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I'm now 78% into that. Depending upon, I might be able to finish it today, definitely be able to finish it tomorrow. And I won't say, it's definitely not my favorite Tiffany D. Jackson. And when I was doing a reading sprint with my patrons yesterday, um, they were saying that it's actually a Carrie retelling, which I've never read or watched. I didn't even realize that, but I definitely am not super in love with that kind of like magical realism part of it, but the rest of the storyline is good. I'll give like a full synopsis and my thoughts and stuff on it once I'm like finished, but for now I'm still figuring out kind of the timeline of everything. Um, the podcast element is really great for it, um, but I just feel like the way that it's being told is a little confusing because it's kind of like all over the place with like back and forth of what happened, but then what's happening in real time. I don't know, that kind of thing. For lunch, I toasted the last bit of the bread that I made. Um, I toasted it in my cast iron with olive oil and then um, it's cheddar cheese. I heated up turkey and I did apple butter, onion, and apples. Super excited to eat this. Okay, I've been really bad with filming the last few days because I've been pretty tired over the weekend. Alvin had gotten sick. I decided not to make the fish stew because I was working on TBR cards all day today. Literally, I finished at seven o'clock and then we've just been, well, we watched Survivor and I've just been watching TikTok and stuff. It is now 10 o'clock. So there is a lot to catch up on, which I will catch you up on in the next few days. But this is it for today. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness 